headline, Ian, from Roma's 3-0 win against Chelsea is, of course, the scoreline. Yeah. It is that heavy defeat. <coughs> is there something else going on at Chelsea or is this just a bad performance? Um, I think that there's, there is something going on and it, it, it was a bad performance. Um, it was listless. Um, they, they seem to be mirroring the, the attitude of the, the manager when he's in his after game, in his press conferences, rather than the guy that when they score, you see that that energy burst out of him. And I always thought it was really strange it's when happy. very, it's very just different very, demeanor. This honestly, season. Yeah. you know, and when, when he did, when he signed the contract, they gave him more money, but no extension on the on the term. When you've won the Premier League, I found that very strange that you wouldn't want to keep a manager like that or a manager like that wouldn't want to stay and want more years to get it right. So it just seems like from the start of the season there's been discontent, rumblings of discontent, and it seems to be carrying on now. And we're seeing it on the pitch. When I mean, we heard lots of stories in the build-up to the season and then after a, an opening day blip, they, they seem to pick up Chelsea. But they now, do, do. as mm. soon as the cracks appear, we start talking about those problems again. Yeah, you do. And I think it, it all stems from the manager and his demeanour. Um, you see him in press conferences, he's, he's having moans and digs and yeah. little things that he wouldn't have even bothered him last season. Uh, yeah. You know, when things were going well, it was, he would have just let it all wash over him. He was, he was pretty calm. Uh, and this season, because things aren't going so great, he's letting all the little niggly bits and letting other managers say things him, that are getting like to him. He's swearing in the press conferences, he's got the ump with people now, whereas... Last season we saw him laughing at certain things, especially the Costa stuff. I just mm. feel, it just like you're saying, it just doesn't seem happy there. Um, it's easy to say this when they're not playing particularly well, but it was flagged up last season that his training methods are very intense and that if you're not winning regularly, then players will start to get irritated by it. But is it as simple as saying the players are, are tired by intense training methods plus Champions League football on top of it? Um, I don't... I, I could understand that if we're after Christmas um, and it's not going well, but you know what I mean? We, are, are we far enough in, Matt? Are we far enough no. in the season, really, to say that the players are tired? Yes, you, the, 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 he's that manager. He, he, he has intense training sessions. You know that. They had intense training sessions last season, but obviously they didn't have the Champions League to go with that. I don't think that's an excuse for them because I think it's too early in the season to say that it's starting to affect them in respect of tiredness. We're two and a half months in. You know, it's, what, ten Premier League games, four Champions League, League Cup. Mm. It's, not, it's not a massive workload at this stage of the season. It's you know? not, and not had time to Even I could have coped with that. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> what, now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk then about Manchester United. It's a 2-0 win for them at home to Benfica. It's, a, it's a, a successful Champions League campaign for them so far. Jose Mourinho clearly stung by criticism of his style of play, particularly from Manchester United supporters, to the extent that he's mentioned it as a sort of parting shot in his programme notes before the game. So will Manchester United fans enjoy this win more than they enjoyed the, the performance against Tottenham? No, I don't think so. Um, it's still not... Um, I thought Anthony Martial played pretty well today, he? he looked very exciting, but like I say, I'm a massive Rashford fan. And when he came on, he, he, he made a difference. You know, he, he got the penalty in that. But I, I still don't think it's a, it's a Manchester United fan. Uh, Man United fans are seeing the kind of football. And we're not talking about Manchester City-style football because that's not what Manchester United play. They don't play like that. They play with, with players bursting forward and, and, and supporting the front men and playing with a tempo and a pace that causes people problems. They're not, they're, they're not playing like that. They, they, you know, and they were Should fortunate. They, they um, started off the season playing pretty well you mm. know they, they they were hitting four goals on a regular basis yeah. in, in games um that was maybe when Pogba was in the team and yeah. I think perhaps He's a miss. him being out the side is is a bigger miss than probably people realize uh, and I think because of that and I think Jose realizes it He's changed the way that the team are playing. He's become far more pragmatic and he's mm. just trying to get wins, almost yeah. trying to keep himself in it until Pogba comes back and so they can maybe right then play. So is he right to be knocked by the fact that, that people are, are criticising him, that he thinks they're whining about, no. about the, the style of football? I, I think he's wrong to try and take on the Man United fans yeah. and to have a little dig in the programme. Yeah, just... I, I just think it's a battle you can't win. Why, why does he do that? There's 75,000 yeah. of them. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's why? one of you. It's, it's, you, know, you might have a programme. And that's only in the ground you. as well. Yeah. Exactly. So, but, yeah, you've got 
got to be careful well, where you pick your fights, and, and, and I think he's picked the wrong one. Then. And they will be thinking, oh, what's he talking about having a go at us for? You know, we, OK, we, it's not what we want to see, but we're still trying to get behind the team, but surely you can show a bit of discontent because of what they're used to, what they want to see. What if he's saying, you know, I, I, I have, I'm missing Pogba, there are issues in the team, I feel like if we were uh, more attacking, if we were more gung-ho, that, that Manchester United would concede more goals and we wouldn't be winning these games that, that we are. This is what I need to do at this moment. Well, of course, of course, of course you, um, you have to think like that because if Man United start losing games like that, then there'll be even more noise um, in his direction without a shadow of a doubt. But I feel that he's got the players that they can play a lot better and a lot more expansive. And I'm talking about with intensity. I'm not talking about trying to play Man City's way, but they can attack mm. teams more because they've got the players but to do But interestingly, if he wants this conversation to go away, does he need to stop talking about it? Because <laughs> Manchester United Absolutely. have just won 2-0 um, to Benfica. They have a 100% record in their qualifying group in the Champions League. And partly because of that, we're talking about the performance. Yeah, and, and I think, uh, for me, I think he can't... You can't go and fight that battle. I think he'd be better off being honest with people. As you just said, just, look, I'm missing my main man. Mm. You know, I feel that with, with this team, this is the best way to get results. When Pogba comes back, we can open it up and be a little bit more expansive. If he was to come out and say that, rather than come out and go, oh, hopefully you'll enjoy this better than you yeah. did the other day, I think people would have a lot more respect for him and the fans would, would have a lot more love and warmth for him. Mm. I think it's just a, I just think he's gone about it the wrong way. They play each other, Chelsea and Manchester United, at Stamford Bridge on Sunday. Yeah. And given what happened last season between these two sides and given the way that Mourinho talked about Conte afterwards, do you think that if Manchester United go and, and beat Chelsea this weekend, it's going to be one that Mourinho could well put a smile on his face? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> because we saw our upset he was with the defeat last last time and what he had a word with Antonio Conte in his ear and you know what I mean I thought that, that was a little bit for me if I was Antonio Conte I would have told him what to do <laughs> that's respect. probably why he did it probably, you know <laughs> but like you know it was it, it will be something because he, he did say as well about when you get a manager that's got what three or four or five Premier Leagues then they can be the number one so he's still you, you kind of feel that his ego kind of gets in the way of certain things but that is what drives him. That's, that, that's exactly mm. what drives him. Coming up against Chelsea, and if Man United can beat them and beat them in a way that would be, I don't know, fitting for him, I think he'd be absolutely delighted with that. Do you think that. he'll try and beat them? I think he will, yeah. Given the way he's set up in I think he should, try and, he should be trying to beat them. You know, especially if, he, if he's going to go to Liverpool away and set up like that, and Chelsea are a tougher proposition than what Liverpool are, I'm sure he's going to set up in the same way. I way. hope he would. I'd hope he'd go there and try and beat them because they've got defenders. And, of course, we know Chelsea's offensive abilities. They're brilliant themselves when they get going, Hazan, Pedro and, 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 and Morata when they get it going. But Man United have still got players up front, Lukaku oh, yeah. and Martial and, and Rashford, who should be able to go and cause Ch Chelsea's defenders a lot of problems. Why wouldn't you it be focusing on that? that? That forward line should frighten, should frighten teams the with, the, with, the, with the pace that they've got. They, sh they should be able to, to take teams on. Do you think they will? Even without Pogba. I, I'm doubtful. The only, the only way do you I think, think even the, with the pressure would of change... Liverpool, Matt, when, the way he played against Liverpool, do you think, if he'd done it against Chelsea, I think the Man United fans would go again. Uh, possibly. I think the, the only reason he would change is if he's now looking at Manchester City and the gap that's between the two sides and thinking, right. not sure City are going to come back to us. Yeah. You know? and, and then he's got to then make sure he picks up three points every game and not just go for the, the picking the three points off of the smaller teams yeah. and being happy with a draw against the, the big boys. Yeah.